Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo, and I'm here today bringing you my Titanfall 2 Multiplayer Beginner's Guide. I very much want to see this game's community grow and prosper. I want to see more people get involved in the multiplayer, and more importantly, I want to see people who are already members remain active members for months and potentially years to come. I could sit here, I could try and explain to everybody about why the multiplayer is so great, why you should choose it over other games like Battlefield and Call of Duty, but at the end of the day, I don't really think that's going to help the community firsthand. What I'd rather do is look at those of you who are already playing and potentially struggling, unable to find success and unable to grow and adapt or improve your skills as a pilot. How can I help you? What can I do to make sure that you go from having frustration and potentially walking away from this game to having fun and staying an active member of the community. That is exactly what I plan on doing today. So I've broken this guide up into three categories. We've got pilot mobility, titans, and tactics. Without further ado, let us begin. We are winning this battle by alarm. Pilot mobility is undeniably at the core of the Titanfall multiplayer experience. It's also the area in which I see so many players struggling. A lack of knowledge and a lack of respect for their jump kit often results in many players spending way too much time down in the dirt, turning themselves into easy targets for the rest of us, and in turn drastically decreasing their situational awareness. It is absolutely necessary that you recognize and utilize your pilot abilities, your double jump, your ability to wall run and slide to maintain speed and momentum, and of course making use of buildings and other high ground to increase your situational awareness. Now, you also have to remember that just because you're on a rooftop, doesn't mean you're in some sort of a magical safe haven. You'll still have to deal with other pilots, but at least at that point, you'll be on a level playing field. And more importantly, you'll avoid becoming a swash bug on the bottom of a Titan's foot or getting mixed up with AI specters and grunts. No one wants to die from an AI specter or grunt. That is an extremely demoralizing death. There's no denying that. Warning, enemy pilot attacking. Let's talk Titans. At level 1, you'll have a selection of three Titans, including Ion, Scorch, and North Star, each with their own loadout, abilities, health, and purpose on the battlefield. For example, Scorch is a slow-moving, no-dash ability Titan that focuses on stacking his fire damage. He has a very specific purpose and playstyle on the battlefield. Now, at entry level, I find it far more important to experiment and find the Titan that not just works best for you, but also interest you the most from a design perspective. You can worry about which ones are the most competitive later on. Focus on the fun for now, and as you unlock new Titans, I strongly recommend that you give them a go. Play with them for a couple matches, feel them out and see what you think of them, and then maybe go back to some of your favorites. If you don't try them all, you might have a new favorite sitting there that you never gave a chance. Now Titans may be giant, walking mechs full of wonderful metal and capable of incredible destruction, but they still have plenty of weaknesses. That's kind of what makes them balanced in Titanfall's multiplayer. And you should always utilize buildings and other large objects as cover. Refrain from ever fully exposing your Titan to enemy fire, and I guarantee you're gonna live a lot longer. At the end of the day, you wanna treat your Titan much like you'd treat your pilot. You wouldn't just stand in the middle of the street and let everybody shoot at you, and the same should be said for your Titan. Each Titan also has a weak or critical hit spot located on their face or hatch. You're going to want to protect that spot at all costs, and you're also going to want to shoot it. You'll increase your potential damage and in turn, kill enemy titans faster. Now you can also engage a titan's critical spot via anti-titan weaponry when fighting on the ground as a pilot. Never forget that. You ever see those green glowing canisters on the battlefield? Yeah, the one that the enemy just ripped out of your teammate's titan? Those are batteries, and a valuable resource capable of extending the life of your titan. They can be removed from enemy titans and your titan via a rodeo and replaced in the same fashion. You should never pass up a battery. If you don't need it, there's a good chance a fellow titan does, so why not pick it up, carry it to them, or hold on to it until you see someone that could benefit from it. Slotting batteries into your titan and into friendly titans and removing them from enemy titans is a great way to really alter the course of the battle, and it may seem like something small at first, but it could genuinely lead your team to victory. Let's talk tactics. You don't have to be a Titanfall pro to have a great set of tactics. Even a noob can outplay the opposition if you're willing to think and play smart above all else. Always consider the possibility for a flank. 
Free speed and freedom as a pilot, combined with the great open map design in Titanfall, gives you the potential to make some big flanks on the enemy. In game modes like Bounty Hunt, a personal favorite of mine, a flank at the start of the match can help give your team an early advantage and seriously affect their morale. It really can set you up for victory. That one small move you made at the start of the match where you rushed the team and killed five of them from behind can be everything when it comes to victory at the end of the day. Now, flanks aren't just for pilots and are often even more valuable when piloting your Titan. Rather than adding to the cluster and helping your team cram three Titans into a narrowed passageway like sheep to the slaughter, pull back and go the long way around. Consider the other options, the other routes on the battlefield and flank the enemy while they shoot your team like fish in a barrel. You might even get lucky and you might be able to save a few of them. It's okay to move as a team, all right? I just wanna make that clear. I think a lot of people get caught up in the whole, oh, but you know, I wanna work with my team. That's great, but keep your distance. And again, refrain from clogging up narrow passageways with three or four Titans. That's not gonna benefit anyone at the end of the day. You can't shoot through friendly Titans. They're not ghosted. And it's just gonna make things really difficult when you finally need to dodge enemy fire and you know get the hell out of dodge in a hurry. I've seen so many groups of players, people on my team, people on the other team, just bunching up, all trying to squeeze through this one passageway. And then I show up and I go ahead and drop a you know barrage of missiles as tone and take out half their team. You don't want that to be you and you don't want that to be your team. So don't contribute to the chaos and don't contribute to the Titan cramming in doorways. The same can be said for pilots. Again, it's great to move together, but there's no reason to stand shoulder to shoulder as a pilot when engaging enemy targets or even cleaning up AI in a game mode like Bounty Hunt. Hopefully, this guide helps you start off on the right path to becoming a better pilot in Titanfall 2's multiplayer experience. Consider all the things I've said here. Respect your abilities as a pilot. Respect your mobility. Mess around and experiment with the different Titans to find something that works for you, and you'll be on your way to being a kick-ass pilot. Now, this is really just the start of understanding Titanfall 2 multiplayer. There's so much beyond this, and there's a lot of advancements that you can make when it comes to pilot mobility, including bunny hopping and air strafing, but get comfortable with the basics, as that's what most of the people, or the level that most of the people are at anyways, and I guarantee you'll be having a lot more fun when it comes to Titanfall 2's multiplayer. If you have any other questions for me, if you have anything that you are personally struggling with, Feel free to throw it down in the comment section below, and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.